G'day Traders Mindset Reset, Free Cash Wednesday. Wednesday is day three in the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday template. And now we're heading into the back side of the week. Wednesday resets as a new day one heading into the closing range of the week. So today I'm going to answer a couple of questions regarding today's trades and uh, answer some questions specifically about some of the opportunities that presented. So we had a great textbook template. Now, yesterday there were several inside days. Uh, if you go back, um, good question from a trader was how do you track that? I actually just have a notepad and I've got my pairs listed, but for the most part, I narrow it down pretty quickly based on how the template's set up. Monday was a pump day, Canadian dollar. Uh, we had dump days on other pairs, uh, Euro, pound, uh, New Zealand, Aussie dollar. Uh, Japanese yen and, and Swiss franc. So again, taking a basket. So I have my three US dollar cross pairs, Canadian, Swiss, and Japanese yen. Canadian dollar gave an inside day. Swiss franc was day one breakouts, day two breakouts, day three breakouts up high sitting on, on uh, horizontally. So remember what I said, train your eyes to move horizontally at the levels into the timing window. When you do that, you'll start to see the, the market, if it's set up, you will follow your level that you're looking to enter a trade with whether it's long or short to identify if the market is pumping into that level or dumping into that level for the trade just gets very easy now to not chase markets when you start to train your eyes to move horizontally so the canadian dollar gave an entry uh we're into the second hour and we're in consolidation inside of the peak formation we've already triggered the inside day we're sitting above the low of day level which is the dead giveaway remember what i said before when a market coils on top of low of day or underneath high of day, it's getting ready for an explosive move. Now, we had major red news at 10 a.m. And my decision on today's trade was to, uh, because I had an opportunity to enter in 20, 21, 22, 23 minutes after the second hour began, we've got our consolidation. It is textbook perfect in my experience. And I've I've said this before, 10 a.m. news can be a catalyst to complete the move. So we've already dropped down 20, 25 pips heading into the major red news. I'm confident and comfortable based on the larger time frame template to hold on to that position. And as I explained to one trader, I move my stops to better than break even. So I always allow for spike or spread. <clears throat> Typically, though, in this, this type of template, if you go back and back test, the templates and then go check your news calendar you will find in currency pairs a lot of currency pairs sometimes there'll be a gap and we'll talk about the gap in a moment but it will capitulate and complete the move complete the stop hunt and so we've got a day one i said this the other day pump day consolidation dump train your eyes to move horizontally with those levels so I, you know, put page 32 up in the playbook on uh, the community post after because that is literally right out of the playbook. And again, if you have setups that you master and have the confidence to execute, to manage, to be patient, to understand when to get in, when to add in, or when to really fully size in because it's about to collapse, that is an example of one of those types of opportunities. Now, the next question I receive is, can you go over the DCB trades that you talked about yesterday? The DCBs are the don't come backs. Now, the DCBs are the three-day setups. So we've got first green day on several pairs. Um, they're not coming back today. They might come back tomorrow. They might come back at the end of the day, but they're not coming back right now. It's, and what I mean by that is those aren't the ones that explode back against you when it clears a level, they're gonna go down there and clean out a level. They might pull back later in the consolidation over, but it's a DCB day, a DCB day. Now, the next point I wanna talk about is the gaps. So some traders messaged me and said, you know, I got out before the news, no problem. Now the Canadian dollar was already going before the news. Out of all the pairs, it was already in process, in trade, in profit, prior to major red news. The other pairs had coiled, had coiled, pound, uh, Euro, Aussie dollar, New Zealand was coiled at uh, levels. And and we had first green day on Euro yen that took off from Asia and just com continued to go parabolic into the US window. So at 9 a.m., if you look at the Euro yen, pin hammer, 
Uh, I think five minute chart, five minute chart gave traders an, a measured move continuation on level three of that blowing off on a first green day. But first bounce, which is in the playbook, first bounce is designed to allow you the entry into a longer time frame template. Today was textbook right out of the playbook on several pairs. The gap shook traders out of taking those trades, but the first bounce got you into that trade again. It's a mo news momentum catalyst, a larger time frame template, day one, day two, day three, day one dump, day two consolidation, first green day, inside day on a few pairs. A uh, euro had taken out Monday's low, coiled sideways, higher highs, higher highs in a first green day template, dump down, gap on the news, third hour, first bounce re-entry. Go and look at your one minute charts. Go back to the playbook. Again, today, yesterday, one trade pays for the playbook. But the great thing is, as one trader pointed out today, is they're just gonna keep showing up again and again and again. Those templates show up again and again and again. Now, that's coming to my next point, which I spoke about yesterday. So, you need to master and understand the templates and, and you can have an understanding with major red news again with the pairs that had not moved and there's an explosive gap, the first bounce is designed to get you into that trade. So the setups, if you have the confidence, so today's Canadian dollar to me, if you go back, you, I could pull up 20 of those trades in the last three months probably uh, on different pairs, just examples of, of how frequently whether it's a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So sometimes we can get a little consolidation, narrow range day, and Tuesday's the pump day, Wednesday's the consolidation. Thursday can be the reversal. There's different combinations, but right out of the book today, it says right in page 32, Monday's a pump day. Tuesday, first red day, also an inside day. Thursday, oh, sorry, Wednesday collapses. So rinse and repeat. Uh, rinse and repeat is simple. And it aligns with other time frame traders. So by the time that rolls over or comes underneath on a first green day, other time frames now are driving those moves. Other time frames are driving those moves. Now I want you to understand that those markets went out of balance first. They broke out and went out of balance first on Monday. Okay. So a lot of times we can get smaller consolidated ranges over three days that can give us a first green day or first red day trade. And so sometimes traders miss those. Sometimes, uh, uh, again, there's going to be different combinations, but the dump, the breakout dump or the breakout pump day is almost a dead giveaway. And, and to answer one more question was regarding the Euro Canadian yesterday, I called it three days of breakout traders. And several people emailed me asking me, can you explain this? This is not what it says in the playbook. I want to repeat one thing. <clears throat> Friday is the closing range of the week. Friday is the closing range of the week. Monday is the opening range of the, of the, the new week and it's day one. But if Friday's range is our low of the week or high of week level, and we break out of that and go higher or break down and go lower, Friday is our day one. Friday's our day one. Why? Because Monday is the opening range and it's broken out of the low of the week level. Now that could be a failed breakout for, for the low of the week now triggering shorts going the other way, but it didn't. It rolled over and went down one more time on day two. By the time day two has printed on our Monday, Tuesday template, opening range initial balance in a high percentage of situations, one of those extremes can tend to hold in a well-engineered template. Day one, day two, day three breaks out in Asia, goes lower in London and pulls back, as I mentioned yesterday, higher high consolidation horizontally at a level into the new timing window for an explosive parabolic uh, reversal trade on day two. Going back to where? Friday's Closing price from Thursday inside of Friday's high of day level. That's a three-day template. Day one, day two, day three. So I'll say this again. Three types of scenarios. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Day one, day two, day three. Wednesday resets into the closing range of the week as a new day one. And we get day one, day two, day three. Friday's the closing range of the week, day three. If I'm on Tuesday, then we can hunt for a 
Friday, Monday, Tuesday, three-day template. Friday's the closing range of the week. On a Monday, we can hunt for a Thursday, Friday, Monday opportunity. Wednesday is the reset day, and we can have a new three-day setup. We could have an inside day on a Friday. We saw that with Good Fridays, right? Monday gave us some parabolic first red day, first green day trades that went explosive. Uh, indexes. Uh, so there were opportunities, but it's very simple. We can have a three-day setup on Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because Tuesday might put a low of the weekend, as we saw in the Euro-Canadian. I haven't looked at that today, but we could get a day one, day two, day three into Thursday. Non-farm payrolls week, it could it could reverse on free cash Friday. Earlier in the day, maybe in London or in Asia, on some of the Asian cross pairs, Friday could be the day. So if Tuesday forms our higher low of the week, we may get a three-day template with an inside day or something else. Don't know, haven't looked, but it's a very simple model. Whenever we have our closing range coming into the new week, that is significant levels. Those are weekly timing levels. Those are weekly levels, other time frame traders. So keep it simple. Three days of breakout traders, not seven days of breakout traders. I'm counting back three days because I'm looking for a three-day setup, three-day, three-session setup. So... In closing, I want to just say with the Canadian dollar template today, whatever template you took, whether it's first green day on one of the Euro pound, Aussie, New Zealand, Euro yen, Russell 2000 took out uh, the low of the week, three days of breakouts on the bottom, Swiss franc, three days of breakout traders long, and again, a gap, first bounce trade, or 15 minutes after the news, that doji on the breakout, consolidation, enter the market. That's the first bounce just on a longer time frame. But if you only had one that one template, for example, on the Canadian dollar, if that's the only trade that I was taking and I only got one of those a week, it's a 90-10 opportunity. How many times do you think that that template will show up and, and play out subtle variations? And I'll talk about this later today in a technical video. Subtle variations, how many times is that trade setup going to make me money? Probably 99.9% .9 of the time, unless there's some other variable or something happens. But that template and how price behaves and what time it is, is going to make me money. Rinse and repeat. So if I don't see that template and I'm trying to trade markets that are moving and everything else, that's the difference. I have a 90-10 template there that I'm gonna hit every single time I see that as it sets up in the timing window for rinse and repeat scalable money-making opportunities. That's the mentality. I'm not guessing, I'm not trying to buy the low or sell the high, catch a move, count a W, pushes and get an M. And, you know, It's a simple model, three-day template, very simple. And, and think of it this way, if you wanna count levels, count days, day one, day two, day three. Pump day, consolidation, dump day. There's your three levels. That's how simple it is. Day one, day two, day three. Has it broken out? No. If it hasn't broken out and I have a possible template and it's moved in consolidation, guess what that could be? A day zero. That's another template. The way that it sets up, how price behaves, what time is it, and how to get in. And then we have a rectangle that can go on a range expansion. Rinse and repeat setups. Rinse and repeat setups. Which is why if I'm inside, it needs to be in a parabolic coil. But if I'm down low or up high, it can't possibly be inside yet. Because we haven't reversed or had a first red day setup or first green day setup day. Which is different from a first red day, first green day. Those are the days that turn into first red days and first green days. And there's specific criteria that make those days what they are. So rinse and repeat. And as one trader pointed out today, uh, it's the trader that's the problem. And I've, I've said that continuously, uh, managing yourself, tr the, the, the behavior of the trader is, is largely the issue. And I can attest to that from years of multiple blown accounts, random impulsive emotional trading, over leveraging, over trading, uh, tilt trading, uh, all kinds of crazy stuff. <clears throat> and one trader again 
heard what I said earlier in the other video is that, and I'll answer a question about that, is that um, you really only have to hit one or two parabolic trade setups. So again, not trying to read levels and count bars and get the direction right or scalp a move. I'm looking for the actual specific setup. And that textbook playbook setup today is an example of that. We have signal days, which can bring our attention to a market. So again, if you contrast the US dollar cross pairs, Swiss, Canadian, Japanese yen, there are three different templates. The Japanese yen did not have a setup template for me. The Swiss franc was three days of breakout traders, but again, it was up high. It hadn't moved before the news. It was breaking down, but I like the idea of the Canadian dollar already broken down and consolidated. The high of the day was triggered in London, false break of an inside day, coiling underneath, and I'll talk about uh, the opening range where, what, what that opening range meant to today's pattern. So... Uh, that was an easy trade. It was already give the entry was already there 30 minutes, 40 minutes before major red news. And which again gave me the confidence to sit on that for the capitulation back to the low of the week. Now, uh, a great question I mentioned yesterday. I said 100 pips can double your trading account. And so I should, I should re rephrase that because not everybody's going to have the same margin or leverage ability. And I'm not suggesting to over leverage or to, you know, try to double your account on every trade. But when you have a certain, uh, let's, let's, let's go back and rephrase that. When you have a parabolic three-day setup, that's 90-10, such as the Canadian dollar setup today, 50 pips projected potential profit target back to the low of the week. And uh, let's say that it's, I'm in a 90-10 opportunity. I have no problem sizing in on that trade, max size. So max size, is pretty much going to allow me to hit that as heavy as I want. And let's say that, okay, let's say I grew the account by 25%, smaller leverage, less size. You only need to hit uh, three or four of those trades to double your account. And I know some traders have already doubled their account this week, but my point is this. If you sit back and trade 90, 10 setups and stop trying to read all this, and, and again, it's I'm not... I'm talking to myself when I say this. I have zero interest in trying to read markets and count pushes and levels. I'm just looking for signal days and setups. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's as simple as that. There are three-day setups that coincide within those other days. And there are three-session setups that will tie that together. It's as simple as that. The simpler you make it, you can rinse and repeat. Now you've got a rinse and repeat trading business that you can continuously grow in size, regardless of your leverage, regardless of uh, the size that you're trading. The significant part is that you grow it and you can slowly increase the size and keep the risk the same. And all of a sudden now you're hitting the same setups that show up again and again and again. See, reading charts doesn't show up again and again and again. Setups though, signal days, and setups, three session setups, show up again and again and again. There's a reason for that. Pump, consolidation, trap, dump, defies logic. Same with the first green day, the explosion, the first bounce, all that stuff. It's just simple. It's very simple. If you keep it simple, you can do it again and again and again without analysis, paralysis, subjectiveness, you know, missing stuff it's pretty easy to to, tra to track that three-day setup that's a really simple that's just one that's just one of the setups that are in the playbook and i've gone over other ones as well so if it's simple it's zero stress zero emotion and it's repeatable if it's simple you can reproduce it if you can reproduce it you can scale it and grow it in size simple 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 it took me years years to figure that out even though i knew it i just wasn't wasn't doing it i wasn't doing that and i will i will say this i i can guarantee you because there's a lot of people out there who are regurgitating the information and complicating it with other things your choice no judgments but i can guarantee you you'll come full circle back to simplicity simplicity is supreme so
Keep it simple, rinse and repeat, scale it up in size, lock in the money, and get on with your day. Very simple. All right, traders, have a great day. Congratulations. Uh, again, it's a non-farm payrolls Friday, but, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you have a three-day setup tomorrow, lo and behold, surprise, surprise, surprise. We'll look for some signal days, look for three-session setups. Uh, we can get a, a, a two-day, it's three-day template, but it can set up over two days for either a dump or a pump type style of three-session setup. Have a great day, traders, and may the markets go with you.